an unusual scene at this commercial airport in eastern France. These men are part of the paratroopers 2nd Division. They're getting ready to skydive, the first part of a three-week training course. The French army is practicing its tactics in the event of a return to more classic conflicts between countries. This part of the exercise will last four days and it begins with a parachute drop. That allows us to project power, which combines the element of surprise and a significant amount of strength. The general staff wants to teach these soldiers to defend themselves if they were to face a country with means similar to those of France. This high-intensity training, which the French army has been using for several months now, will allow both soldiers and the general staff to exercise their ability to face an enemy with similar strengths. The next morning we're back with the paratroopers. After their drop, they moved on to a small fake village dotted with a fictitious enemy force. Their job is to take back control. The goal of this training is also to get everyone to work together and learn to cooperate. Let's say we've got an artilleryman, an infantryman, a cavalryman and an engineer. We're going to put them all together under one person and give them a mission. And that will allow them to solve much more complex problems. The soldiers' actions are all watched and evaluated in real time from this control room. This place is unique. This place is quite unique. It's almost like the mecca of high-intensity training. This system has only been deployed at this location. This training comes at a time of significant global rearmament. The International Research Institute for Peace says military spending last year was $2 trillion, an increase on the previous year. In recent years, armed forces have seen the return of strategic competition. We've seen a re-emergence of Russia, the emergence of China and a number of other military powers. And they've begun asserting themselves thanks to the acquisition of modern and high-performance equipment that is giving them abilities they didn't used to have. France wants to counter that change by adopting a new law, which will increase the country's military budget to 2% of GDP by 2025. The law is a big national effort, and we know that. We believe it was absolutely essential. We're going to be renewing 30-year-old equipment. I still use the same car, rifle and tanks as I did when I was lieutenant. France's armored vehicles, some of which are 45 years old, will give way to a high-tech model called the Griffin. The French assault rifles will be replaced by a German model due to its cheaper ammunition, a shift which could mark the beginning of more cooperation with European partners.